Hi, this is Jeanette Walsh. Right now I'm working on a tutorial for my students to learn how to use Adobe Premiere Pro, Creative Cloud, or simply called CC. Uh, for my students, you'll have a project folder and all you need to do is open it and click on the project file. It's this purple item uh, it, that you'll find in your uh, folder and let's get started. Um, but before we do, for my students, make sure that you're working on this project and have it saved in the data hard drive or in your personal uh, portable hard drive and not be working on this from your jump drive or flash drive. Okay, let's get started and go ahead and launch the project. As you can see, it's generating the program right now and opening Adobe Premiere Pro Creative Cloud. And we're there. I already have video files set up and along with title slides so you're just concentrating on learning how to work this program and I am just going to make this just a little bit smaller so I can see everything well you'll see right here there's one two three four major sections uh, of this window, Adobe Premiere Pro window. Up here you have the source window. This is the display window or the program window. Excuse me. The timeline will be down here. And then over here is the media browser. You'll see the media browser and there's some other items here. This area right here, it, there are tools or the tool area tool panel and then an area over here on the right that has the audio and audio meters. Let's look at what's over here in the media browser area. There's, there's two bins or folders. The first one is media and it has all the photos and videos that you'll need for the project. And we'll just leave that up there for a moment. And the other one has title slides. They're already ready, so we're just concentrating on learning how to use the program. And I'm just going to move them down here. I think one of the first things we'll do is make sure that the margin safe area is set. And really the only way to do that is to launch a uh, photo or a video and how you do that is simply double click and it sends the image or the video into the source monitor. Okay, so right now this is actually a still image and we want to set the safe the safe margins and so you click on this tool over here and look for safe margins. And there you go. And why that's important is make sure that you want to be able to see your title slides and that they don't get cut off. And you'll want your title slides to be within this safe area, the, the innermost area. That is really important. And that's one of the first things you'll need to know. Thank you. 